Anacondas aren't really known to attack people. But here's a movie where one does, because it was having a bad day. And maybe it's having that bad day because it saw the cast list with Jennifer Lopez and Ice Cubes. Anyway, we start with a silly little text crawl which tells us tales of monstrous man eating anacondas have been recounted for centuries. Uh, I think I read that wrong. Oh well, probably more accurate that way. Oh, and look, Danny Trejo's in this film. You realize you're an anaconda, right, Danny? Oh, and look, Danny Trejo is out of this film. So our main characters are some twits flying down a river filming a documentary on a lost tribe of natives called the Shirishama. And I guess they just have their fingers crossed on them not being aggressive or reminding them just showing up to film them and are apparently so hard to find because of their non-existence. They brought the narrator along as well because you know how you usually have them standing in front of the documentary footage reporting live and put in potential danger? Makes even more sense too when you see he's a high maintenance press. Stow this in my room, will you? I'm not the bellhop, I'm the production manager. Then surely you can manage my things into my room. Oh, I'm pompous ass. You know, in some cultures, that's a sign of friendship and respect when somebody cares enough to ask you to carry their bags. Oh, and look, we have an early career Owen Wilson who liked to show up in horror movies and die. Though I'm sure he'll survive here. <laughs> Is it just me or does the jungle make you really, really horny? Oh no, I think it's the jungle. Um, okay, that is what he said. I get the feeling Owen changed the line up here and they were too stupid to film an appropriate response. So further up the river, they hit Instant Storm and John Voight, whose boat has stopped working. He jumps aboard, crashing into Owen, but somehow Owen ends up on top of him. Seriously, I'm not sure how that worked. And the next village! I know the people! They helped me fix my boat! He and their boat driver, Mateo, exchange a look that means something, but not really. Ever work in a sushi bar, mister? Sauron! Paul Sauron. What does a failed priest do in the jungle? Fail? Who says I fail? I didn't fail. How dare you say I fail? I'll kill you! I'll kill all of you! Oh yeah, that is why I failed. So he's a snake catcher, not a poacher, though, because... Poaching is illegal. He supposedly knows where their pretend tribe is and will show them the way. So that night, Lopez and Eric Stoltz used talking about lightning bugs to hit on each other. Well, whose flesh is the males or the females? The females with a series of short, dainty, feminine little flashes, about eight per second. The males respond with a series of long, drawn-out, manly flashes. I like that. No pickup lines. Yeah, I know. Lightning bug pickup lines are pretty terrible, too. It's all about flashing and... Oh, wait! That's exactly what Stoltz just used on you! And it worked! Lopez assures him her love don't cost a thing, but we'll see about that. Meanwhile, the anaconda attacks a panther... <laughs> Next day, we see the camaraderie this crew has. I can cheerfully hot I'm a kid. I could just kill you for free right now. You and your zombie. Your mamas. Okay, seriously, who gets paid to write that kind of crap? And no, them be bitchy with each other isn't important in any sense. Boyd tells them the tribe is down one path, which Stoltz disagrees with and tells them they'd be up the other way because the area he had pointed out is flooded, which Voight takes well by getting whiny and video bombing the documentary. This is the subject of some dispute. I know what I know, but I'm not telling it. Wilson and Carrie Rrr decide to wander off into the jungle in the middle of the night on the ruse of recording random sounds, which would be a great idea even if there wasn't a snake around throwing a hissy fit. <sighs> Sorry. But really, they just wanted to go endanger themselves so they could make out. But that doesn't last long, as amazingly, something decides to kill the idiots, but they are saved by the Voight. Wild boar. From now on, everybody stays on board at night, right? That's a smart idea. Smarter idea would have been to tell them that before the idiocy, but yeah. Let's cut him up food for a week. Food. Ice Cubes is apparently unfamiliar with the concept of food. So they continue cruising for a bruising as a rope the idiots have left lying around gets caught in their propeller. When is the snake coming? 
Stoltz goes to fix it while Voight acts casual. But suddenly... My love don't cost a So, despite the fact he is wearing an oxygen mask, he's got a deadly wasp in his mouth? Poisonous. What are you- <laughs> oh! Now bedridden, Stoltz ponders how this stupid movie would never have happened to Marty McFly. We don't get this man to the hospital, so I might as well, uh... The river. Remember this point, cause no one in the movie will. Voight tells them the fastest way is the path he originally wanted to take, but it's being blocked by a snake fence. And everyone knows anacondas can't get by river fences. Hey, is that real dynamite? No, Owen, it's play dynamite. That thing must be there for a reason. Yeah, to give us out. I'm talking about upsetting the ecological balance of this river. Cause you see, this is a naturally formed fence and just stop talking, Lopez. So they blow the fence and we see snakes really were waiting there as it launches a bunch at the boat and also most of their fuel gets knocked into the river. And apparently that's not worth going down to try and get back. That night they obviously leave the crazy man in control of the boat because they are busy having talks about how they don't trust him. Later they see another boat and Voight says they should go check it for fuel. Voight sees an article showing he and Mateo had hunted a snake together before and that's why there was the glare. But Mateo gets killed by the anaconda right after making any point to that meaning. Let's. This would also mean that that was really his boat, so why was he pretending the other was his? Did he really get another whole boatload of people killed before getting picked up by the documentary crew? That's just silly. How would the Anaconda have got past the fence? Great. Where's Mateo? What the hell is this? Anaconda skin. So with Stoltz in that critical condition, they decide... So we're just gonna wait here till the morning. Cause Mateo apparently took the long route back to the boat. Either he's died like Void is suggesting to them, or he's gone for some random stroll. Either way, you're possibly killing Stoltz by waiting. Voight now suggests they try and catch the anaconda he thinks killed Mateo, and Owen joins the dark side. With Kale messed up, I mean, the movie's off. Why not salvage something? And again, possibly killing him by wasting this time. You know, let's film Sarone capturing a big snake. How we go from taking Kale to the hospital to catching a goddamn snake? You know where you are? You're in the middle of the jungle. I'm about to throw both of y'all son of a bitches in the river myself. I don't think so. I don't think so. <laughs> so that night as Void attempts catching the snake, they don't film it. <laughs> and the snake screams. I think that pretty much speaks for itself. <laughs> Carrie gets knocked into the water and Owen obviously has to jump in and show the way back or she'll get lost like Mateo, but it's over for him. Kick this wall, so and kick this wall. No! It's no good to be dead! Kari's obviously upset because she knows you usually don't survive these things when your significant other dies and you don't have a backup. Well, Voight shows why he failed at being a priest. Through the mercy of God, rest in peace, amen. Now the Bible will feel your spirit to sign. She can dare lick my balls, Capitan. Eventually, the documenters realize there's more of them than there are voicumenters, but their plan involved Lopez trying to pretend her disgust with him meter went past the maximum and back to zero, and she now loves him! Void is stupid enough to let this earn him a golf club to the back of the head. Us hole in one, storm in the rip! Haven't we had enough of that? Come on, let's just tie him up! Okay, Lopez, any other deaths caused by him are now on you! This was all one big setup. You stranded your route to the hospital? How could you forget about the wasp? Welcome, punch! Okay, how did he plant a wasp? A wasp that is apparently also on a timer? And no one questioned how it ended up in Stoltz's mouth? Also, if this was part of Voight's master plan, why did he suggest going instead? Looks like I'm gonna have to cut us loose. Maybe better I do it. I can handle it. So Ice Cubes gives a shot driving the boat now and immediately crashes it into some rocks. They go and try to get themselves out of this mess which could have been easily avoided and Carrie tries to go and be sensible but Voight says there's no place for that and uses his old man legs of steel. He's got legs. He knows how to use them. He never begs. 
knows, he knows how to choose them. Oh, rest in peace. He's got legs. And of course, no one noticed that. The anaconda comes back for revenge. The narrator tries to get its attention and is then surprised when he gets its attention. So he becomes a quick bite for the snake in one of the stupid CGI shots. Voight hawks out and goes on a little rampage and only a tree falling on him momentarily stops him. The anaconda then feels like cooling off with some ice cubes, but Lopez puts a few bolts in his head, annoying it and making things personal. This, of course, also annoys old man legs, but luckily the poison continuing to circulate his system has woken up still long enough to stab him in the neck with a trank dart. We might have some fuel for us. I don't even want to know what happened here. Oh, I think we know what happened. He's got legs! He knows how to use them! So they discover why the anaconda's been so pissed, and that's because Void has been strangling everyone with his legs and framing the anaconda. Blood. Hope this is not Chris's blood. Voight then shows them some of his laggy work. Yes. Ah. Human bones. The anaconda shows up again. Voight tries to catch it, but it's able to wrap him up before he gets his legs around it. With its first part of revenge done, it's just gotta make Lopez and Ice Cubes pay for putting us through their presence. Oh yeah! Oh. Can you climb up the top? Hurry up, I think I can blow him up! Lopez is stuck though until Ice Cubes tells her. Push her on the side, hit the engine! kidding me? She was too stupid to figure out where to push it on her own, and she's gonna be one of the ones to survive this piece of shit? And so ends the tragic tale of revenge of the wrongfully accused Anaconda. But of course bullets in the head and being blown up aren't quite enough, and it still has a little hit points left. <laughs> Stills now having not gotten to a hospital for an even longer time is now awake and feeling fine. Fuck that stupid poison. They see the tribe they're looking for and get their documentary footage because after all, isn't that what truly mattered? And that was the silly screaming snake movie Anaconda. And I really can't forgive it for having Jennifer Lopez and Ice Cubes being two of the survivors. But I hope you like seeing the snake done in practical effects for most of the shots because its sequels will not do us the same favor. And speaking of the sequel... How dare you speak poorly of this movie, fellas? John Voight's character from Anaconda? Get the hell out of here! I'm trying to finish the review! What the hell is that? That's not how you mug for the camera. You do it like this. Why do you have a black goatee now? Side effect of getting eaten by the anaconda. What's your excuse? Would you just get out of here and go back to your whole failure movie? Fail? Who says I fail? I didn't fail. What the hell are you doing? I don't like this movie, he doesn't look too friendly, these monsters seem so fake, my nerves are gonna break, failures don't let me down, you need to be around, grab the running one up and blast that sing a new one, I think it's movie, I look shitty. Fail who 
this is a fail. I didn't fail. You fail. Your face fails. I don't know what the fuck I'm doing. Thank <laughs> you.